Hello, good morning Reshape ladies and welcome to your brand new core class. The class that will strengthen your core, all this midsection, so we're talking about the abs, the obliques and the lower back to avoid back pain, to get yourself stronger and obviously when you burn fat in this area you have beautiful and on abs. You don't need anything except your body weight, you can remove your shoes if you prefer and let's go. Okay, just get ourselves nice and warm. Feet under the hips, you're gonna breathe in. We're gonna breathe out. Nice and easy, in. Out. One more time. And here, from standing, we're gonna place the hands on the neck. We're gonna pull the knee, crunching our body down. So you're gonna activate your abs. When you pull, the chest towards your knee, I want you to activate your abs, pulling the belly button in slightly, just a little bit, right and left. And at the same time, I want to breathe out as you pull the knee. Exhale, inhale. Keep going. For each side, and now look at me, side to side, we're activating the obliques. On your own time, just remember as you crunch, you exhale, out, in, out, in. Now elbow cross towers to the opposite knee, like you are doing a, a X. And I want you to keep breathing. One more. Stop. Come down. Hands under the shoulder, knees under the hips. I just want you to lift your knees slightly off the ground. I want you to, as you pull up, squeeze those abs tight. Because our core is way more than just our abs. We are talking about all the muscles around our midsection. We're talking about the upper, the lower abs, the obliques, the lower back. Glutes are included. Okay, from here, go down, extend the leg in opposite direction and opposite arm. And now we change. The goal is trying to stay still. Breathe out, breathe in. Last few seconds on our warm up. Okay, from here, bring your hands. You're going to child's pose and you remove the knees off the ground. You push the hips back and you go into a plank position. Keep going. Okay, one more time stop and we're gonna stay in our mat straight away what we're gonna have we're gonna have one exercise we're gonna do it four times so four sets 30 seconds on 10 seconds off all right our first exercise we lay in our back we are here we are just going to extend and bend nice and easy come with me go extend the legs up and bend now we got, everybody's going to start here on this level. It should feel easy. If you cannot fully extend your legs, it's okay. You're gonna extend as much as you can. I want you to press your back down. So imagine that your hand is on the lower back and you are pressing the hand down. Now you're gonna do this onto your mat. 
and stop. Okay, same exercise. If you want to go a little harder, you're gonna check up the option. Come up, go. Now, if you need to be a little harder, you're gonna remove the shoulders off the ground. We're gonna do the same, extend, bend, but we have shoulders up, we activate more the upper abs. If this causes tension on your neck, you go down again, okay? Keep going. So you're activating the lower abs. Stop. Round number three. So our sets are quick. Get ready. Go. As you extend the legs, you're gonna exhale. And remember what you do with your back. You pull the back down, yeah? Your neck should not be in tension. If it is in tension, means that you're not activating the abs or they are tired. So you go down. We don't want tension on the neck, we want on the abs. And perhaps if you feel the legs, it's also normal, all right? Stop. Ooh, we're gonna have one more. This one is the easiest exercise just to start with. Go. Nice and controlled. Keep going. Exhale. Inhale. Gonna feel also your hamstrings working. stop okay we're gonna have a break now around 45 seconds and we're gonna have a new exercise so we're gonna move on the side we're gonna place the elbow right under the shoulder now the top leg is in front the back leg is backwards now you have two options you can have the knee down and you go up and down with the hips or you remove the, hip, the, the knee of the ground, you touch the hip and you move up. All right, four rounds, same side. You can still recover for now. Okay, come down, elbow right under the shoulder, top leg forward. So if you are on the knee, this is what you're gonna do. Touch the hip and lift. If you can, you can be either here or here. If this is easy for you, extend both legs, touch and lift. Keep looking forward so you avoid your chin to drop. You pull from the elbow and either from the knee or from your feet. You should feel your oblique and stop. Shake the arms, get ready, same thing, go, exhale, inhale, so on this exercise we are activating the side of the body, the obliques, also obviously the shoulders, the shoulder in this case, it's working too, keep looking forward as you have a mirror in front of you and you want to see yourself there, my obliques are killing, Whew, rest, not sure if you feel them but my obliques are feeling them, come down and go it's a very short recover so short sets but also short recover breathe at any time when it feels too much either for the obliques or for the shoulder you go down into the knee yeah seven seconds stop Woo! one more time you know what is the next one yeah come down and let's go 
So we associate when we do abs workout. That is just a bout of crunches and these exercises. But no, we want to work the deep muscles. That is going to get our midsection stronger. Then when we lose fat on here, they're gonna look strong and in shape. This is what we are doing right now. And stop. Ah, awesome. Okay, four rounds done. We have another side to do. In between 45 seconds to recover. So you can use this time either to shake the arms. Ooh. Your elbow maybe is gonna feel it tomorrow too. I mean your skin maybe gonna have a rush. Okay, on the other side, so top leg forward, back leg back. Elbow and shoulder align. You still have 20 seconds. You can still recover. to start so either remember either the knees on the knees so you see you bend or you can extend I'm gonna start with the knee to show you let's go up and down so if you are from the knee you are pushing from the knee chin away from the chest look forward exhale inhale exhale inhale at any time if you want to both legs so you're feeling your obliques, side of your body, five more seconds. And stop. We recover. Round number two. Elbow down. Let's go. Chin away from your chest. but my shoulder too. Woo. Keep on going. And this is when we feel that maybe one side feels stronger than the other. Stop. Ah. Two more rounds. Come down. Let's go. Exercise. I need you to keep breathing. Make sure that your spine is aligned from the side, from the head until the hip. Ah. And stop. Ah. One to go. Let's go. Last 30 seconds on our side plank. We don't have more side planks today. We have other things after. Woo! But I know this one is challenging. So remember that an easier to be used at any time. And you pace yourself. You can do less reps if you need to. Stop. Okay, go into child's pose. Rest your arms. Pull the hips back. Drink some water if you want to. We're moving into our fourth exercise. And we're gonna lay on our back again. So I'm gonna show you several options on here. This is going to be the hardest option. So hands on the temples. You're gonna extend the elbow down to the opposite knee and you extend the opposite leg forward. If this is too much, you start from here. This is level one. This is level two. So the level three, you are here. Okay, join. So if you need to start from the, the bottom, start nice and easy here. I need your lower back on the ground. Elbow 
come as close as you can to the opposite knee. Chin away from the chest. If you want to start a little harder, feet are off the ground and you extend up. And stop. Now if you want to try a little harder, we know where we're going. We're gonna extend the leg. Come with me, go. As you extend the leg, as you exhale, you press your back down and you rotate your torso side to side. The more you rotate, the more you activate your obliques. Now, should not feel pain or tension either on the lower back or on the neck. So at any time, if you go to the next le to the previous levels, free feel free. Stop. Come with me again, go. So remember that the goal is not about doing the hardest exercise. The goal is about first doing it right, second activating your muscles, feeling that your abs are working, not your back, not your neck, but your abs. And on this one your legs are also working. Oh my gosh, and my legs are screaming from yesterday's marathon, so I'm feeling my legs big time, and go, Exercise. our last round, open your elbows wide, lift your chest, and let's work those abs, Music is on fire, not just our core. Go, go, go. Stop. Ah, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Woo. We recover. We really need some recover here. Okay, we're gonna go back into some kind of planks. So, something similar that we did on the warm up. So we're gonna have the, the, the wrist and the shoulder aligned. Shoulders away from the ears. Now, put your toes on the ground. You're gonna lift, keep the knees under your uh, hips and now you walk into plank position. You're gonna move the knees forward. You're gonna move always the same leg. First, forward and back. Okay, join me. So I'm doing my right leg forward first, back first. So I'm leading first with my right and I will tell you when we're gonna switch. Now if this is too much for you, this is what you're gonna do, same position. You're gonna lift the knees, you're gonna put the knees down. You're gonna lift the knees, you're gonna put the knees down. The level number two, you are here where your knees don't touch the ground. Little pulses up and down. Stop. Okay? So we have three levels here also. Come down, same leg is leading forward and back. Right leg. Forward, forward, back, back. Now I want you to, re to imagine that you have a cup of water on your back. That you don't want it to fall. You want it to keep it still. So I want you, your knees as close as you can to the ground and your back as stable as possible. Go, go, go. Squeeze those abs tight and stop. Use your recover to shake the arms because your arms are also working. We're gonna swap legs now. Lift, left leg is back, left, left comes forward. Back, back, forward, forward. Remember to keep our, your body aligned. Your legs are also working, 
working so we cannot dissociate muscles it's not just your core that is working also shoulders also legs and stop can be working last round go come on come on we use the beat of the music to inspire us it's about strength it's about will it's about keep pushing even when you feel to stop but we don't ah! my arms are shaking Child's pose. Wow. Amazing job. Guys, we have two more exercises. And I just want to remind you what core means. Core means center. So when we say the core, we are talking about the center of your body. What strengths all the rest of the body. So we are talking about the lower back also. So the next two exercises are for the lower back. So we're gonna lay down chest and thighs on the ground the main goal is to lift a little bit your chest and your thighs off the ground so you're activating the butt when you lift and the lower back whenever you're ready join me four seconds to start and go so extend your feet exhale as you lift easy down shoulders stay away from your ears and you are activating the butt your hamstrings your lower back the extension of your back so all the muscles around your spine are also feeling this one so do a little movement if you're not very comfortable with the movement stop recover and let's go so i want your nose down imagine that you keep your eyes on the ground so i don't want you to look forwards i want your spine aligned and no pain on the neck again should not be painful either on the back or lower back you should feel that the lower back is working but not painful and stop again my legs are killing me from yesterday round number three let's go girls go 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 so remember to squeeze your butt as you rise and if it feels okay you can try to rise a little bit more both your chest and your thighs off the ground and stop one more Get ready and go. Keep your shoulders away from the ears. Keep your shoulder blades in, so you're also activating your mid back. Almost there. Five seconds. And stop. From here, go back into child's pose. Stretch your lower back. Stretch your back. Okay, we have one exercise left. Same position. Extend the arms. We're gonna keep the right leg with the left arm. So we're gonna elevate the arm and the leg, taking the chest away, and then go down. And then, then we do the same for the opposite side. So again, doesn't have to be a big movement. But you 
you need to feel the lower back and all the muscles on the back of your body working. Shoulders stay down, hands facing each other, so facing the middle, extend your feet and let's go. Exhale, inhale. So while one hand goes up, the opposite hand stays down and we do the same with opposite le leg. It's good that we are already on the ground so we can rest for a little. Okay, let's go. Align your back. Let's go. Make sure that your eyes are down. You are not putting stress on your neck. You are slightly elevating your chest off the ground, taking the head away. The here, the only thing to make this movement easier, it's the range of motion. So meaning that you elevate just a little bit. Whatever it's comfortable for you, but you feel it activated. All right? And stop. Recover. Two more. And go. seconds more and stop one to go girls one more and let's move 30 seconds and we are done nice and controlled breathing and remember to feel the muscles which muscles are we activating here the lower back, the butt, the hamstrings, perhaps you feel also the shoulders, it's also normal. Nice and controlled, five seconds. And stop. Child's pose, stay there. And even the... Okay, so from the child's pose, Take a three deep breaths in and out. And then slowly you come forward. Place the hands nearby your chest. Push the floor away. Look all the way up. Keep the shoulders away from the chest and feel a nice stretch on your abs. Then you're gonna look forward and you're just going to twist your neck to the back and then slowly to the other side. Okay, now nice. you're gonna go down. You're gonna lay on your back. Pull the knees into your chest and rotate them slightly side to side so you feel like a nice massage on your lower back then you're gonna leave your knees into one side and you're gonna rotate to the other side so you're gonna feel your obliques We change. We 
gonna take a seat nice and easy, cross the legs or whatever position it's comfortable for you. Take one arm up and just stretch your tricep, keep looking forward, keep the abs activated, long spine. We change. Place one hand on the ground, twist your body slightly to that side. Slightly, but keep the hips down. Change other side. Done. Great workout. You spent 31 minutes, five seconds exercising. And then from here, you're gonna bend forward, chest on top of your thighs, roll your back, relax the back, the head, the shoulders. And then slowly, on your own time, rotate yourself up. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, out, one more time. And amazing, well done girls. We strength our core for sure. This is how we get healthy, stronger, and uh, with an amazing and beautiful midsection. I hope you like it. More to come, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye, have a great week.